So in this video, I'll show you how you can get the full offline installer package of any Microsoft Office LTSC version directly from the official Microsoft website. I will neither ask you to download and install from my own link, nor encourage you to visit any third-party or sketchy websites to download Office. I'll show you every step directly from the official Microsoft website. This is the only official and safe method to download the Office LTSC offline version. As always, I'll include all the links related to this video in the description box below. So, let's begin. First, open Google and search for Office Config. Visit the official website at config.office.com. Scroll down and create a new configuration file. On the next page, we need to configure our Office Suite. First, choose the architecture of your Office app. Here's how to find your system architecture. In the Windows search bar, type System Information. There, you'll see whether your system is 32-bit or 64-bit. My computer is 64-bit, so I'll download the 64-bit version of Office LTSC. Next, for Office Suite, choose the version you want to create an offline package for. You can choose from Office 2019 to 2024, including Office 365. For this video, I'll create an offline installer package for Office 2024 LTSC Professional Plus. You can also include Project and Visio if you like. If so, select Project Professional 2024 and Visio Professional 2024 in the configuration. But for this tutorial, I'll skip these two apps. Next, for the Update channel, don't change anything. Keep it as default. Now, under Apps, uncheck any apps you don't want to install. For this video, I'll skip OneDrive, Outlook, and Skype for Business. For language, I'll choose English United States. Next, under Installation Settings, keep all default options. For Update and Upgrade, also keep the default settings, but make sure the option Uninstall any previous versions of Office is checked. After that, you don't need to change anything else. Click Next, then Next again, and finally click Finish. But keep in mind that if you have a Volume KMS subscription from your organization, school, or university, keep KMS as the default. In my case, I have a Volume MAK subscription from my team, so I'll enter the corresponding code in the given box. Once done, click Export. Choose the Office XML format to export the file. Read the terms and conditions and make sure you comply with them. Then, name your XML file and click Export. Next, open a new tab and search for Office Deployment Tool. Visit the first official Microsoft link and download the tool. You should now have two files in your Downloads folder. On your desktop, create a new folder and move both files into it. For better clarity, enable View File Extensions in File Explorer. Now run the Office Deployment tool and select the new folder on your desktop. This will extract several files into that folder. Delete the unnecessary ones, keeping only the setup file and your configuration XML file. 
Now, in your browser, search for Office Deployment Tool Commands and visit the official Microsoft link. Scroll down and find the section titled Download the Installation Files for Microsoft 365 Apps. There, you'll find the command that will help us download the full offline version of Office. Copy the command to your clipboard. Create a new text document in the folder and open it in Notepad. Paste the command into the Notepad file and replace the default config.xml file name with the name of your configuration file. Now, search for CMD in the Windows search bar and run it as administrator. Then, copy the folder path containing your setup and config files. In CMD, type CD, add a space, right-click to paste the path, and hit Enter. Now, we're in the new folder location. Next, copy the command from Notepad and paste it into CMD, then hit Enter. At the same time, keep an eye on the network activity in Task Manager. As soon as you press Enter in the CMD window, the Office LTSC suite will begin downloading the necessary offline files, and you'll see network activity in Task Manager. Also, ensure that you have a stable internet connection. Now, if you check the new folder where you ran the installation, you'll find a folder named Office, with a data folder inside it. Inside this data folder, you'll see another folder named with a version number, starting with 16. This is because after 2016, all newer Office versions are based on the Office 2016 core. Here, you'll find all the downloaded files for your Office LTSC offline installer. You can verify if the download is complete by checking the CMD window and your network activity. Once the download is complete, if you want to share this offline package, simply create a ZIP or RAR archive and share it with your other computer. Next, extract the ZIP or RAR archive to the desktop on your other computer. After that, follow the upcoming steps carefully. So here's the tricky part. How do you install Office after downloading it? Open CMD as administrator again. Go to the folder containing your setup and config files, our new folder, and copy the folder path. In CMD, type CD, add a space, paste the path, and press Enter to enter the folder. Now, go back to the Microsoft Support page where you copied the download command. Scroll down slightly, and you'll find the Office Install command under the section Office 365 Apps. Copy the command and paste it into your TXT file. Replace the install config.xml file name with your own XML file. Then copy and paste it into the CMD window and hit enter. Again, keep an eye on Task Manager's network activity to check if it's using internet data. As you'll notice, this time there's no internet activity, which means Office is being installed directly from your offline files. Let's fast forward the installation process, shall we? Finally, we've successfully installed the Office 2024 LTSC suite using the offline package. 
Let's now open the Office 2024 apps to confirm everything works. As you can see, all apps are properly installed and functioning. That's all for today's video. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications for more useful videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.